Hey you, welcome. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the LPN to RN Bridge program. And if I think it is a good idea to do that, and I will be talking about what exactly is the bridge program. If that interests you, please don't go anywhere. And if you're new to this channel, hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Lali and I am a nurse. I make videos about nursing, nurse life, nursing, nursing, and nursing. Pretty much everything about nursing. And if you're interested in nursing, if that interests you, please, please subscribe to this channel so we can stay connected. All right, without further ado, let's just get into this question. The LPN to RN bridge. What exactly is a bridge? It's not an actual bridge that you're going to take, okay? But it's actually a bridge. The bridge program, it's usually an eight weeks long program. This program, it's basically like a class. So it's like taking a class. Um, not all the, well, it, it depends how you're going to do your RN. So if you're an LPN and, the, and you're interested in becoming an RN, there is this bridge program. It's an easier route to becoming an RN if that's what you know what you want to do. Um, so this is um, this is an RN. This is an LPN. There's a little bridge so you can go over to becoming an RN. And usually, once you're there, once you take that bridge um, program, you don't have to complete the whole two years that a new registered nurse will have to take or will have to do in order to become an, a registered nurse if you do that bridge i think you start i believe it's on the second semester instead of starting from the first semester or something like that so it's a it gives you some room for you to once you go into the registered nurse program uh you don't have to complete the whole if it's two years the whole two years you i think you do one and a half instead of the whole two years not all the schools offer that if you were to do your registered nurse um schooling online you don't really have to do a bridge program you just go straight into the program which is what i did i did my rn through uh, excelsior college i do have a video about that if you haven't watched that video you're more than welcome to go and check it out um but there i didn't really have to do take any bridge before starting the program i was able to just start the program you do need to verify that you are an rn i mean an, uh, an lpn so i did have to it's a form that you have to fill out you fill out that form and once you fill that out you give it to your supervisor they need to basically say that you are working that you are a an lpn and that's basically it just showing and proving that you are actually a um an lpn before you start that program if you are doing it in an actual school like if you're doing it if you're actually showing up and going to class then the best bet will be to do the bridge program because then you don't have to do the whole program nursing program you could just do the year and a half and start instead of starting from the beginning of like the whole um rn schooling year um do i think it's a good idea i think it's a great idea if that's something that you're interested in doing and becoming an RN. If you're an LPN, if you want to become an RN, doing the bridge program, it's a great idea because then, like I said, you don't have to start from the beginning and it's easier for you to like transition into becoming an RN. So if that's what you're interested in doing, please go ahead and do it. I think it will be very beneficial for you and it will be a great, a great phase for you in your, in your life and your career as a nurse. And and that's pretty much it in regards of that topic. I will continue to make videos about um, answering certain questions in regards of LPNs because I've been getting a lot of LPNs here and I love it. I love it so much. Thank you so much for um, subscribing to this channel and thank you so much for all your questions. Um, and I wanna answer all the questions that I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna break the questions down into like different videos basically and I'll be making little videos here and there answering all the questions that you guys may have okay so i'm trying to do my best into being able to answering your questions i hope this was helpful and i hope i was able to answer a little bit of your question if you do have more questions in regards of this topic leave a comment down below and i'll be able to answer that question for you to the best of my knowledge if you're not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for just subscribe to the channel and so we can stay connected and we can be friends and if you did like this video if it was helpful if it was able to give you any value at all or answer any questions you had please give me a thumbs up and i will see you on my next video
Bye.